So it's talking about partial pressure. Ooh, partial pressure. Partial pressure. Partial pressure. Mm -hmm. Fully understand it yet. So it says container A holds 747 milliliters of gas at ideal gas. Yeah, ideal gas at 2.60 atm. Okay, so container A. Yeah. Container B. Contains what? How many? So container A holds 747 milliliters of ideal gas at 2.60 atm. Zero point two six zero. Just uh, two point six zero. Sorry. Oh, two point six zero. So what did these offer? Okay. Container B holds one four one hundred fourteen milliliters of ideal gas at four point seven. The zero ATM. So this one is three, and this one would need two because this one has a. So then, what three. happens if you mix them together? What pressure? I don't remember this one. Okay. I'm trying to remember exactly how we go about doing this one. It's, it's kind of like a weighted average between the two. Um, trying to remember how to do that. Is, is this one sulfur? Yeah, it's going to be sulfur. Okay, so we have 747 milliliters. I got it. So, I, I almost count. So 0 0.7%. This is still a two-dimensional liter. Contains his formula. 0.114 liters. That means his liters. liters. Atmosphere, he's got atmospheres. Yeah. So we need to calculate the new pressure? Yeah. The total pressure. Yeah, the total pressure. So we got to find the partial pressures of the two. Which it's is, very, very are you using PV equals NIT for that? I'm trying to think how we did it in class because I remember that and we need to find, oh, I think I, I know. So what we have to do is add up the two volumes today, yep. together now. So we're going to have the two volumes that? together, so it's going to be Eight sixty one. Do you want to go somewhere? Yeah, point eight six one liters. Okay, so that's going to be the new total, and then we got our pressures. So is it just going to be the sum of the two pressures? No. Um, I'm trying to think how we do that. So, like back home is like thirteen dollars. This is right. Pretty sure. Hold on a sec. Yeah, you, sh you should go. Instead of that, just the sum of the pressures divided by... No, it's not that. Excuse it. Very simple as it looks. Do you take the average of the pressures? Or I think... The higher that point? It's temperature is not involved. Yeah, that's our seal. This one's the highest, then that one. Then this one's the lowest, that one's second. I just don't know how to find the partial pressure, because really it is, it's just the sum of the two partial pressures. Like the total pressure is, is the pressure of A and the, pressure, and the partial pressure of B, but I can't remember how to do part, how to figure out partial pressure. Let me look at the book here. Yeah, it's probably Determine the formula for sodium sulfide. So sodium is NA, right? Yep. Sulfide, what's sulfide? Sulfur? I of sulfur. What is that, James? Sulfur? Okay. It is S. So it would be NS? 
it'd be but as so, sodium sulfide. It says determine the formula for sodium sulfide. So sodium sulfide, sodium has a charge of positive one, sulfide has a charge of positive of negative two. So you're gonna have to balance that. So cobalt two sulfide would just be CO two S then. Yeah, CO two S. So what would it Wait, be? Cobalt two yeah. sulfide? Yeah. Would be just be CO S. Right. But I didn't say that. Oh, you said CO two S. Oh, I meant C O S. Yeah, C O S. So, so would it be just like that? N A. It'd be N A two S to balance out the charges. Mm. Little S, little two, right? Yeah. So my PC. Mg. Let me check something. What is Tello? Tellarium. Te. So Te has a positive three. Okay, so it's Te three plus. Okay, so let's do it. Positive three, and the other one has uh, positive two. So what would it be? So would it be because both of them have a positive? Yeah. So magnesium. Okay, so right now I'm just experimenting something with this. I think I got got the what they want to do. I think I got it. Were you the one that gave me this question? Uh, he did. I did. You did. Okay, so what did you end up doing? So what I what they have us do in the book is you take the did you have the have pressure the percentage the pressure at first uh -huh. times the the volume at first and then divide it by the sum of the of, or the new divide it by the new volume exactly. which is the sum of the two. So and so did you get this number right here? Uh, okay, so that makes complete sense. So that's. So what does it mean when you say have like okay. grid? So what we ended up doing hmm? was that we has, took like, the two point six atmospheres and we had to multiply it times its three. percentage. So it's going to be the zero point seven four seven yeah. liters over the zero point eight. Six one liters, because that was the sum. So we'll put zero point eight six one liters for the total, and then we had to add the four point seven atmospheres times the zero point one one four liters over the zero point eight six one liters and I got two point eight atmospheres. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, you basically have to take the atmospheres, multiply it by its percentage in part. And Where then you get the point eight six one. Oh the total. It's the total like the overall volume. And then you just add those partial pressures up, and that'll give you the. It should give you the new pressure. The new, the total pressure, yeah. Yeah. Kelly's. Jimmy James. So I guess writing this out would be P1 times V1 over V total plus P2 times V2 over V total equal the P total. Yeah. Okay. Good to remember.